Welcome back to Aeon's End. We're playing against the Prince of Gluttony, and oh boy did I ever cheat with Mist in the last episode. <laughs> We're going to take a look at her discard pile. She had this in hand, Darkfire, and she just played it right out of her hand. <clears throat> no prep at all. Uh, and I can go back and try and fix everything. You know what? I'm not going to bother because we're getting pasted. Let's face it. So just to let you know, you can't do that. You're supposed to prep your spell first, and then you cast it during your next turn. Yeah. Uh, I think I was so excited to get Dark Fire in anybody's hand, I just had to fire it off immediately. But you can't do that. But we did it anyway. Our nemesis still has 57 health. We are not winning this i don't think <laughs> i'm going to give it my best shot we're going to see what happens in this episode which i'm pretty sure is going to be the conclusion you probably can tell that from the title all right shuffled up let's see who's going first and it'll be <laughs> well, why not why not let's have the nemesis go twice in a row just wipe us out and end the misery here all right, so we're going to put a card down. Of course, we have the God Feeders. With 8 health, Persistent Gravehold suffers 3 damage. Devour a gem from the most expensive gem pile. We don't have a gem pile, so we're going to take 3 damage. And then we have to take 2 more because there was a card that couldn't be eaten. Pretty sure that's how that's supposed to work. 8 health. Ouch. All right, what do we got for the next Nemesis card? Oh, another minion. Oh, he's a lovely looking guy with a little uh, nice double-bladed axe. Triple-bladed. A Mage Ender. Nine health, persistent. The player with the most open breaches suffers two damage. Well, that's going to be missed every time. Oh, wow. All right, why not? Let's put black dice on this guy. So he's going to be our end. That's the first turn. The Nemesis. The Nemesis going to go again. Nope, player one. So Mist gets to do something. Let's try not to have her cheat again this time, though. All right, over we go to Mist. All right, Mist's turn. She's going to fire off this huge spark spell, doing one whole damage to the Prince of Gluttons, hitting him right in the belly fat. There we go, 56. Barely scratching him, but hey, we did something. All right, Mist now has Fossilized Scarab, Garnish Shard. See, now we can prep dark fire and use plenty uh, players prep stealth so that wouldn't be, even be cheating so we're going to prep dark fire there uh and then we're going to we're going to use fossilized scarab for two ether giving her a charge so that we can play garnet shard cast any players prep spell she is now going to cast dark fire which she can do Discard up to two cards in hand, deal three damage for each card discarded. So she casts Dark Fire. She's going to discard these two cards. That doesn't really matter what order I put them in. She's going to do six damage. All right. We're going to take the Nemesis down to 50 health. Oh, yeah, we got him now. We got him. Just another 50 health before he can kill us. So we'll win. All right. Putting your cards back in any order. Well, we'll do it that way. Five new cards. One, two. <laughs> yeah. Three, four, five. <clears throat> I think you know where this game is headed. Uh, oh, wow. She's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight ether if she wants, and a conflagration, which she won't be able to cast because uh, she'll only be able to prep it. All right, back to turn order. All right, turn order time. Who is it going to be? Player two. All right, Indira gets to go. All right, over to Indira to have her take her turn. All right, Indira's turn. She has a mitt full of cards because we used all the charges from Mist last time. So she has a mist full of cards. Ooh, yes, that's painful. All right, she's going to just go ahead and she's going to take two crystals for two ether and get herself her final charge. Then she's going to use all of her charges to you, uh, cast any number of spells in hand. Those spells each deal one additional damage. So that's going to be two damage for the spark. Uh, and it's going to be four damage for the thermal dart. So a total of six damage. All right. Six damage. Yeah, you know where it's going. <laughs> forget the forget the little minions. Taking the nemesis down to 44. Wow, we might be able to win this. We just might. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, well, that was a good little shot <clears throat> from Indira. Now she's got Twin Opal. Uh, we need the 6 Ether to buy anything. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Ether. So what she's going to do, she's going to use all 5 Ether. 
Uh, and she's going to get herself two more charges. I mean, why not? Can't buy anything. Then she's going to put her cards back in any order. I'm going to put them this way. Five new cards. One, two, three, four, five. And what else does she get? Twin Opal Bottled. Ooh, Bottled Star gives her another Nova Forge. While prepped. Uh, which turn do you may turn gain two ether? Can only be used to gain a spell. Yeah, all right. I'm not a bad hand, but I think we might be a bit too late. All right, back to turn order. Turn order time, and we have player one back to mist. All right, mist, bring some more pain, possibly. All right, mist turn, no prepped spells, and now she has one prepped spell. Uh, what does she got here? Well, we have three, can only use to gain cards, three. So four, five, six, seven, eight. She's got a total of eight ether. She might as well go ahead and spend six of it on the Nova Charge spell, and then she'll get another charge for her ability. And very quickly, that's it. So she used the three, four, five, six for, to get Nova Charge, because this has to be used to buy a card, and this one was used to get her a charge. Putting him back in any order, does it really matter at this time? Probably not so much. And then five new cards. One, two, three, four, five. She didn't even cheat. Didn't even cheat. <laughs> Dark fire, which she can't cast from her hand. Oh no. All right, that's the end of Miss Turn. Back to turn order. All right, we're back to turn order, and we have the Nemesis. Oh boy, can we survive this? Oh. I don't know. Godfeeder is percent Gravehold suffers three damage. So Gravehold is basically going to suffer five damage. Taking Gravehold down to, yep, three health. Three. <laughs> oh boy. This one, the player with the most open breaches suffers two damage. That's going to be missed. She's got two open breaches. Of course, Endear only has one. So six health down to four for missed. Yep, we are going down in flame. And that's not even it. Because <clears throat> we still have another Nemesis card, which is Dispel, Unleash Twice. Yeah. Player with the most prep spells, discards their most expensive prep spell. Well, I don't even think we're going to get to that point, because we're unleashing twice. Unleashing says you take from the least expensive uh, pile and discard three cards. <clears throat> Excuse me, we only have one pile left. One, two, three. That's one Unleash. And yeah, so we're getting at two unleashes, gets rid of that card, doing four damage to Gravehold. Wow, we got we got double hosed. <laughs> we lost doubly. Not only did we lose all our card stacks, which means the Prince of Glutton wins, Gravehold also went to zero health. <clears throat> wow, a pasting, an absolute drumming, beaten about the head. Of course, I played the two characters probably about as poorly as you can strategically, <laughs> and even cheated cheated while doing so, and still couldn't do much. Actually, the nemesis would probably, well, he'd probably be around the 44 health. Wow. So this was the vanilla version of Aeon's End, playing against the Prince of Gluttons. Oh my god, did he ever snack down on our cards. I think our killing blow from the Prince of Gluttons was the episode, was it two episodes ago, when the Nemesis went twice in a row, or last episode, went two times in a row, and we had that uh, minion out there that ate six cards, and then the next time it went, immediately after it ate another four. So we lost ten cards out of the piles, right, we couldn't even do anything about it. Well, that's going to finish off my playthrough of Aeon's End against Prince of Gluttons. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. Really appreciate it. And yeah, what is coming up next? Oh, that is a tough question. I haven't really had a chance to take a look and see what I want to do next. Something, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, these damn allergies. <clears throat> As I keep losing my voice. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what's coming up next. I, it will probably be coming up within a week or so. Uh, my work schedule has been ramping up, I think, as summer hits, uh, gets a little busier at my job, <clears throat> excuse me, and I get more hours, which means more hours there, it means fewer hours here, 
Uh, but I am doing my Twitch channel as well, so that's eating up a little time. I didn't want it to really affect my YouTube playthroughs here, uh, but it seems to be eating up some of that time. So I apologize for that, but uh, you could watch me over Twitch if you want as well. Every second Sunday now I'm doing a board game over there. I started off with Harry Potter on June 9th, June 23rd. Uh, I'm going to be doing Game 2 Harry Potter over on Twitch. Uh, how, do we, how do you get to my Twitch channel? Well, it's pretty easy. You can go over to Twitch. Just uh, search Paul Darcy, all, to, all one word together. You'll find me there pretty quick. Or if you look at the uh, homepage of my YouTube channel and the banner, uh, bottom right-hand corner is a little Twitch icon. It's the farthest one to the right. Just click on that. It takes you right over there, too. Uh, and I don't link Twitch uh, from YouTube because they're uh, rival companies. And YouTube, I guess, is very uh, nasty when it comes to people shoving their YouTube channel over to Twitch. I think they've even cancelled some people's accounts. I really don't want my YouTube channel to be cancelled because I've got over five years of content on here. And for YouTube to just outright uh, destroy my account would really suck. So, sorry I don't link my Twitch from YouTube for you guys make it easier. Uh, but you can find me pretty easily anyway. Alright, so thanks so much, and I guess we'll see you in the next playthrough series, you rotten bugger, you prince of gluttons. Alright, I'll see you then.